Well, good morning from Indianapolis Executive Airport here on the north side of Indianapolis. I know it's been a while. This used to be my home airport. A little bit chilly this morning. The sun's just coming up. You guys know I don't like the cold. So why don't you join me in the right seat as we head down to Naples, Florida. Let's go. run through the uh, roll and spoiler checks, basically the overhead uh, master text functions. Need to clear all those through. I can go ahead and taxi while they're finishing up. are all on the center screen. There's an advance button on the yoke that checks them off as done. off VFR here and pick up our clearance airborne. I'm going to get caught up here for a second. The airplane arrived at the whole short line before me, so I get caught up. Executive traffic premier, 390 Golf Mike, departing one way, 18, exiting to the southwest.
This uh, airport TYQ just got an extended runway, uh, extended it uh, a couple thousand feet. It's a pretty significant upgrade. It's uh, nearly 7,000 feet long. Okay, here we go. B1, rotate. You're up. Yaw damper on. Laps up. ND Premier 390 Golf Mike. 390 Golf Mike, ND Approach. Maintain VFR, block 4044. VFR 4044, 390 Golf Mike. Chris Renetter, Joe Golf, Mike Ritter, contact five miles southwest of the Executive Airport. Maintain VFR, direct dawn, and I'll have your clearance in just a moment. Okay, VFR, we're heading direct dawn, 390 Golf, Mike. Three nine zero Golf Mike is cleared at Alpha Papa Fox Shot Airport. Via present position, direct dawn. As filed, climb and maintain one three thirteen thousand. Expect flight level four one zero within one zero minutes. In the altimeter two nine eight eight sales to leaving. Three ninety Golf Mike, we're out of seven thousand five hundred now, climbing to thirteen thousand. And the route flight is at present position, direct dawn. That is filed. Flight level four one zero is a final, and two nine eight eight is the altimeter. Three ninety zero, Golf Mike. Thank you. The read back is correct. Okay, okay, climbing away. Sun is just coming up. Beautiful day. So a lot of you have asked where I've been lately. So uh, once we get up to altitude, I'll uh, turn the cameras back on and uh, we'll kind of talk about what's been going on. Where I've been. Contact Indy Center 119.55. Good morning. 1955, Zergolf Mike, we'll see ya. Indy Premier 390, Zergolf Mike, 10,000, climb at 13,000. 390, Zergolf Mike, can you start climbing St. Paul 230? 230, Zergolf Mike. Just over the top of Indianapolis Indiana International now. 14 out of 10, 3 for 1, 3 and a half. So the route of flight was uh, Indianapolis Executive, KTYQ to Dawn 1, Dawn Transition. Then the arrival into Naples, which is Plyer, on the Picker 7 arrival. So Picker 7, Plyer, and then Naples, KAPF. That's pretty much the routing I've gotten every time. Occasionally, if there's weather, they might have you um, come in on a different arrival over the center of uh, Florida. This one takes us over the coast, as you'll see, over the Gulf Coast. So the cabin is pressurizing. You can see the small needle here tells us the cabin differential. Number three, nine zero Golf Mike. Climbing take level two, nine zero. Flight level two, nine zero zero Golf Mike. So the small needle shows the cabin differential. It's right off that inner gauge. It shows us that the cabin is pressurizing. The big needle shows the cabin altitude. So cabin altitude really hasn't left the ground yet. It's still at 1,000 feet. Earlier this year, there was an unfortunate accident where a citation 
cabin was depressurized and had a uh, not so happy ending for all the occupants. Coming through 18,000 feet, we can get our checks. Set our altimeters to standard 2992. You can see the next next item on the checklist is pressurization. Check and make sure it's pressurizing. You'd really want to know by now if your cabin wasn't. So one of the things that I've had done in the uh, the off time is the airplane had a major inspection from uh, Wichita Aerospace in uh, Wichita. Kristoff and his crew, great group, very familiar with the uh, Premier. But uh, one thing I had to concentrate on was that rocking motion uh, on the autopilot and spent a significant amount of time researching it and trying to fix it. It was a very slow rock. It was hardly noticeable, but when I would play my sped up uh, in route portions, you could see the, the rocking of the airplane. So Collins was pretty convinced that it was a cable tension issue for the flight control surfaces, most likely the ailerons. And I'd had that checked on a couple different occasions. Supposedly, they were going to jerk off mic on the table 350. Flight level 350 is jerk off mic. Supposedly, they were in the 2514 contact Indy Center 134.7. 347, Delta 2514. But Christoph and his crew found that the aileron cable tension was. Uh, quite a bit below what it should have been. And we have all but eliminated the rock of the airplane. So right now it just feels like we're not even moving. The airplane's just so steady on its roll axis. Any movement you do see is really just relative to turbulence. So that's been nice. Number 390 Golf Mike, contact any center 134.7. 134.7 Zerg Golf Mike, today. day. Yeah. cruising altitude we can go to based on the airplane. Okay, so I'm going to turn the cameras off. We'll uh, turn them back on. Delta 1656 contact. Indy turn them back on on our uh, descent into, uh, or just, just before our descent into Naples. And uh, i give you guys a little update about what's been going on in the nearly a year since I posted my last video. And uh, we'll talk then. I'll leave the forward camera rolling. Kind of see the en route portion. Well, hey, it's been a while. I know that uh, several of you have reached out to me on uh, YouTube or Instagram or through other methods and asked if everything's okay. And uh, I do appreciate the concern. And uh, just wanted to let you know that I am okay. It's been great. Uh, last, uh, it's almost been a year since I filmed the video. And I tell you, it, um, I, I gotta be honest, 
It was it was nice. Get 504 across Molly at maintain for 35. It was nice flying without videoing. Um, kind of got used to it. Flex jet 504. To be honest. Molly at 350. Flex jet 504. So right now I'm just returning uh, from uh, a couple days up in Indianapolis. As uh, many of you know, I sold my business a couple years ago. So retreat 61 Tango Lima, contact Jackson, we'll center one tree two point uh, two. Still uh, two somewat two active two in it. Yeah. Del 1534, and uh, tree six go up zero. about once a quarter. Three six zero, Del 15, the help there. 1534, 36 is the final today. As uh, yeah. part of the transaction, the buyer did not want the uh, airplane, so it stayed with me, and quite frankly, I didn't want to give up the airplane. So that worked out just fine. So I spent the summer out in Vail, that was great. Southwood 1154 Center. And now we're back in uh, Naples area. But uh, this is landing at uh, runway 5 at Naples, which comes in over uh, the really big houses in the Port Royal area, downtown Naples. Uh, probably one of my favorite uh, approaches. So we'll film that landing. And uh, uh, I'll talk a little bit more here. Good afternoon, American 1411, flight level 330. Oh. Oh. Also had the airplane down for uh, maintenance for about two months um, in uh, in Wichita. Wichita. Hey, 390 Golf Mike, cross Codger, out of maintain flight level 250. Codger, flight level 250 is our Golf Mike. Okay, so here, let's uh, show you how to do that. So they told me Codger, 20, 25. Uh, they said to come back to you. So 25,000. Ex and I'm gonna say again. Execute. Yeah, I'm gonna come up here and hit VNAV. And I'm gonna come back to you. put the altitude selector to 25. Okay, uh, you can already uh, see the uh, snowflake uh, coming down here, and it's gonna grab that okay. and descend. 2251. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, I get on so here we go. We're automatically descending via the path. It's going to go to the selected altitude of 25,000 feet. See this little bottom of descent indicator. It's going to rest over Codger, showing that that's where we're going to hit 25,000 feet. Okay, so we got that going. Uh, had a couple months maintenance at, at Wichita Aerospace for uh, one of the big inspections. And I actually got some... Flight level 270 is our golf mic. Also got uh, some LED uh, nav lights and strobes put on. In Southwest 1164 cleared left turn direct to... Which is, a, which is an STC that Wichita Aerospace does. Pretty cool. Kit. There's Tampa out to our east. In November 834 off of Fox, fly your present heading. Present heading for a Fox. November 390 Golf Mike, fly your present heading. Present heading, sir, Golf Mike. November 620 Mike Sierra, Miami Center 128.22. So they've obviously got some kind of uh, deconflicting or something that's going on. The so route 9401, Miami Center Alpha Fox is just right out in front of me. The vehicle to the right, 94, about 10 one. miles or uh, so. The route 9401, Miami Center on 128.22. 128.22 to the route 9401, thank you. Remember 390, Golf Mike, the center maintain level 250. Level 250 is our Golf Mike. So we are on the picker. Picker 7 arrival. Medivac uh, 302 Romeo Victor, D center maintain, final level 390. Picker 7 arrival in Naples. This is the uh, arrival that I come in on most of the time. Even if I'm coming from uh, Dallas or Colorado. 727, Jacksonville Center 135 for 902. End up coming in on this approach. Uh, 135, 902 for American uh, 727. Confirm. See ya. I was in uh, New York City last week. And returning from there, it's a different Thank arrival. You know Juliet, uh, right. Tango, India. It's the shifty yeah. arrival, which brings you kind of over Orlando. This brings you over the uh, Gulf, Gulf Coast here, Center, west of the coast, five actually. 5311, uh, 340, coming 360, now direct to Remus. 6 5 11 I'm Roger. Norma 390, Gulf Mike, D, set of 18, for light level 210. 
Flight level 210, Zerg off mic, can you want me to continue maintaining this heading? Yeah, for now, sir. I'm going to get you trained here to Zyler in the next uh, minute. Okay, just wanted to make sure I didn't miss something. Got it. Somewhat atypical to do the arrival like this. We're actually off the arrival. One, three, so four, I'm not five, sure what that's about, but we'll maybe we'll figure it out. I don't know. And remember, 390 Golf Mike, clear direct to Zyler, across Zyler 11000, the Naples altimeter, 3002. Okay, direct to Zyler, Zyler at 11000, 002, 390 Golf Mike. Okay, so I've already got Zyler, already got it at 11000. So come up here and go. Direct Zyler, execute. Got to come up here and hit nav. And the airplane will make a left turn. I already have VNAV set in. Tell by the V in front of pitch. I also see that at this point where it says around that, that round circle and it says TOD, that's where the aircraft will start its descent into Miami Center, at 539. Dialer to cross Dialer at 11,000 with a three degree glide slope. That may have been a lot of information I just gave you. And November 399 Golf Mike, Miami Center on 132.35. 3235, 390 Golf Mike, see ya. Miami Premier 390 Golf Mike, 223 down to Zyler at 11,000. 390 Golf Mike, Miami Center, Roger, 4 miles, altimeter 3005. 705. Temperature 31, 2.20, altimeter 3002. Visual approach and use, landing and departing runway 5. Use caution for bird and wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Ground control number 8, Charlie, the Manchester Center, 132.4. Use caution for numerous cranes within the class Delta airspace. At or at closed between taxiway Charlie and runway 14. Advise on initial contact, you have information in the hotel. November 834, Alpha Fox, you could have four miles approach, 134.42. 3442, Alpha Fox, you have a good day. Alright. So that's the aircraft right in front of me. Southwest at 1274, could you direct Seamer? Direct Seamer, South 1274. Uh, he just got sent to 134.42, so I can assume that I'm probably going to go to that same frequency as well. I've got that set up at my number two on my standby. Com one, but on my standby. Not number two, but standby. Actually, it looks like a pretty nice day to be out on the water. Not been doing Number it. Zero Golf Mike, the four miles approach, one thirty four point four two. Thirty four forty two, Zerg off Mike today. Four miles approach, Premier three nine Zerg off Mike, fourteen nine down to eleven with hotel. Number three nine zero golf Mike, four miles approach, four miles altimeter three zero zero six, cross Siler at one one thousand, then the center maintain seven thousand. Siler at eleven, then down to seven thousand three ninety golf Mike. So I have not been flying a lot. Um, I was very fortunate. Primary four X three tangle traffic six miles east to southwest down zero set. The airport I fly out of in uh, Colorado is Eagle. I was very fortunate to fall into an opportunity to buy a new hangar there. Uh, any airplane we've owned has always been in a hangar, but I've actually never owned a hangar. So that was kind of exciting for me. Delta 1590 traffic. Actually, I'm not there in the winter, so if anybody wants to rent it out for the winter, uh, let me know. So those two beeps were indicating top of descent, and so now the airplane is following 
that three degree glide path down to cross Zeiler at 11,000. She's cleared me down to 7,000 after Zeiler. So yeah, so I've got a hangar for rent in uh, Eagle, 65 by 60 with an 18 foot high door. If anybody's interested, send me a message. Okay, 1590 Trace is passing after your left, no factor, descend and maintain 5,000. 5,000 Delta 1590. It's not a by the night thing, you gotta do it. Got to do it by the bump. Test the four X-ray Tango. The traffic said interior left two miles southwest down to your set three thousand. Okay, here we are on Zyler. To four X-ray Tango. Thank you. Eleven thousand. Crew track eighty four contact page tower one one nine point zero. Good day. Over to page tower. Have a good one. Appreciate all the help. Crew track six eighty four. Four miles approach. Check jet. 819, 14.1, uh, cross tiny, at 11,000, 200 feet on. Okay, coming up on Sanibel, on our left, probably out of this left camera, you see North Captiva, accessible only by boat, uh, Captiva, Delta 1590, turn left, Sanibel. heading 130, vector, file approach course. That's heading 130, Delta 1590. Annabelle got really beat up in Hurricane Ian, but I think it's still in relatively bad shape. Premier Zero Golf Mike, contact approach 124.12. 2412, Zero Golf Mike, good day. Good day. Four miles approach, Premier 39 Zero Golf Mike, 8400 down to 7000. Uh, 39 Zero Golf Mike, uh, Roger, the center maintain 5000, 5000, RDC 210. Down to 5,000, slow to 210, 390 golf mic. Okay, coming up on Sanibel. So, planning on uh, being cleared to visual approach from this guy and then being handed off to Naples Tower. I've got that set up in my standby, 128.5. A little hazy today. So that guy is 10 miles in front of me on the same heading currently. I think he's kind of doing, uh, doing a little... November zero golf, Mike, turn left heading of 140 back to base. Left 140, zero golf, Mike. So he was kind of tightening up his base and he's doing my base, so that's good. So I'm essentially on a base right now, very wide base, about 22 miles from the airport. Okay, I can see the airport, but uh, we're still a little ways away here. It's not going to do me any good to call it in sight yet because he's not going to clear me for the visual anyway. Three zero one Romeo, Mike level five thousand. Have a look. All right, three zero one Romeo, Mike Myers and Barrett Trader. All right, eight three four Alpha Fox Strut, clear visual approach to runway five, drawing final approach heading. Okay, is that final approach heading and uh, cleared uh, five at Naples Four Park. November 390, Golf Mike, turn left, heading up 130 now, and descend and maintain 2000. 130 on the heading, down to 2000, sir, Golf Mike. Oh man, the golf looks nice and calm. Approach 390 Golf Mike, we do have a field site. Uh, 390 Golf Mike, drawing final president heading, clear visual affair, runway 5. Final one, president heading, clear to visual, runway 5, 390 Golf Mike. November 0 Golf Mike, contact Naples Star. Zero Golf Mike, we'll see ya.
Naples Tower, Premier 390, Golf Mike, uh, left base, runway 5. Premier 390, Golf Mike, reduce as much as practical. Your number 3, you're following Cessna traffic on the T-Mile final. Number 3, runway uh, 5, clear to land. Okay, we're slowing, and uh, number 3, clear to land, 390, Golf Mike. See the traffic there. Dirt off, Mike. Nice job, thanks. No problem. Four off of Fox Trap, where do you park? Now we're going to Naples Aviation. Four off of Fox Trap, right? Just turn right off of Four straight into Naples Aviation on this frequency. Alpha Force Ranger is there with you, Fort Fox. Two Tango Bravo, runway 5, clear for me to take off, turn right, heading 060. Take off 060, take off 060, 0, 0, 0 two Tango Bravo. Going to 7 Kilo Whiskey, uh, traffic windshield departure ahead of your arrival, runway 5, clear land. Runway 5, clear to land, got that shit traffic inside for Papa Kilo, let's get. Alright, 7, Papa Kilo is holding short of 5, we are ready. Alright, 7, Papa Kilo, Naples Tower, Roger, hold short, runway 5. Holding short for Papa Kilo. See quite a bit of wind on the water there. You can also look and see this arrow here, it's got 16 knots of headwind. Our ground speed's 106 knots. Number 195, find extend down to follow jet traffic on a three-mile final. Alright, we're okay. But we're indicating about 100. We'll send our uh, downwind to, uh, for runway 5. Number 302, Tango Bravo, heading 060, contact Fort Myers, 12 good day. Uh, heading 060, 12 for uh, 2 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Thank you. November 127, Gila Whiskey, turn left on runway 32, then taxi to work there via Delta Bravo on this frequency. 32, then Delta Bravo on this frequency. 1000. Gila Whiskey. Ready, 7 Papa Kilo, Naples Tower, turn right, heading 060, runway 5, clear for takeoff. Clear to go runway 5, 060, I'm heading 87 Papa Kilo. Papa Kilo, once you're established on the runway, no delay on the road, jet traffic, a mile and a half final. Good way, Papa Kilo. And 19592 has the traffic on final on site. November 19592, is this going to be a touch and go or full stop? It'll be a touch and go, 19592. 19592, Roger, your number two, runway five, clear touch and go, make right traffic on the go. All right, clear touch and go, runway five, 19592, and right close traffic. Zero golf mic, number one, runway five, clear to land. Clear to land, runway five, three nine zero golf mic. Five hundred. It is definitely gusty. Number eight, seven, Papa Kilo, contact Fort Myers, one twenty four twelve, see ya. Twenty four twelve, Papa Kilo, see you there. Zero Golf Mike, where do you park? Naples Jet, Zero Golf Mike. Zero Golf Mike, Roger. Remain in frequency to the Jet Center via Delta 5 Delta. Delta 5 Delta with you, 390 Golf Mike. Afternoon, Naples Tower, Sirius 301 Romeo Mike, visual runway 5. Sir, 301 Romeo Mike, Naples Terry number 2, you're following Cessna on a half mile final number 2, runway 5, clear to land. Runway 5, clear to land, 1 Romeo Mike. So 
one Romy Mike, you can uh, proceed direct to the airport. Direct to the airport, one Romy Mike. So, two hours, 18 minutes. 879 nautical miles, 2,230 pounds of fuel. I don't know, 330 gallons or so. Something like that. Naples Jet has a lot of construction going on. Adding hangars, new FBO facility. They are a first class operation. Fortunate to have hangar space with them. Hangar space is hard to come by around here. They do a really nice job. They've already pulled my car around and sitting there running with the air conditioning on.